back. Well, they are symptoms that should not be ignored when it comes to your pet. And so what are they? Well, Dr. Carolyn McCune, a board certified specialist at Affiliated Veterinary Specialist, is here with those answers. Good to see you, Dr. McCune. Yeah, nice to see you guys again. All right, so we, we want to start, for anybody out there who doesn't uh, know about AVS, uh, I say luckily, doesn't know <laughs> about you guys yet, hasn't had to bring their animal there. Tell folks about it. Uh, so ABS's main goal is to provide advanced surgical and medical specialty care for pets in the North Florida region. We have four locations to serve that goal, one in Jacksonville, a location in Orange Park, one in Gainesville, and in Daytona Beach. And let's talk about your role specifically with ABS. I wear a multitude of hats for ABS. I am a board certified anesthesiologist, so I assist with the anesthetic protocols for our patients who are going to undergo anesthesia but I also serve a role and function with pain management and optimizing pain management for each individual pet that comes in. And then in our Gainesville location, I serve as medical director. Uh, and we always like to uh, talk about different types of cases and because you guys handle specialized cases. Um, and the case, what we're talking about today, you have a, we have a photo here of a, of a we do, special We do, special one of our special patient. patients, Callie. Callie is a one-year-old golden retriever who presented to AVS uh, after kind of an interesting meeting between her mother and I. Her mother, Catherine, is a specialist nurse at Shands. She uh, came to see us, and uh, afterwards, Callie decided she wanted to make a visit as well. Oh, boy. So, so how did Callie and Kathy then become acquainted then with the AVS family? How did this all come to be? Well, AVS is a local small business and as such we try and give back to our community in the best ways we can. For example, we have some 5Ks coming up to raise funds for our charity which helps owners who are underfunded but have pets have a very treatable disease. This particular community event was our spring open house where we encourage members of the community to visit our facility to see behind the scenes and for the younger community members to see what being a veterinarian is all about. Well, Catherine, uh, Callie's mom, came in to see our facility, and she's very gregarious. We hit it off immediately. After a tour, I walked Catherine to her car, and I said, not that I hope you need us, no. as you're saying, no. luckily, you yeah. hopefully don't need yeah. us, uh, but if you do, we're here for you. As it turns out, Callie took that very seriously. She decided later on that very week she mm. would consume something she should not. So she came to us after her mother recognized some of the signs that we'll talk about, some of the warning signs, and uh, called her own veterinarian. Her own veterinarian said, unfortunately today we're experiencing malfunction of one of the machines we'd need to help diagnosis. Catherine said, I know right what to do, and she brought Callie immediately to AVS where uh, she was handled by one of the med members of our surgical team, Dr. Hess. They consulted me for an anesthetic protocol for Callie, and then Callie had emergency surgery done by Dr. Herman to remove the material that was making her very ill. And what was the material, can I ask? Well, they had seen Callie potentially consume part of a shoe, but what they found was a very long, linear, stringy type of material. And so after it made it that far through the digestive yeah. tract, it was not recognizable anymore, oh, but we could gosh. definitely see wow. why well, Callie would a, feel so ill. This, yeah, think? exactly. It's the same thing, Bruiser, uh, my, my beagle. And they had, you guys were nice enough to, to monitor him overnight, uh, one, of the, one of the nights that, but the, the the stuff that he ate, yeah, they had to go in and remove it, but there are signs. And this is something that I noticed, and all owners, you say pet owners, should be looking for these signs of, Definitely. of, of not eating. And we had a picture of one of, the, one of her pictures that she's pushing away from the food. Yes, exactly. And so um, being not interested in food, uh, I think that we are going to kind of list these things, too, for, uh, for your audience, too, so they can read and see what we see as well when we have a patient. Uh, so Kelly was not interested in her food or her dinner. And uh, we saw some of the other things. We knew that she had um, potentially consumed part of a shoe. And so we, she, seeing that yeah. suggests Happy there's inside. something you okay. need to keep looking for. Um, next, when we saw Kelly, Kelly, uh, she had had a history of vomiting, and so pets who are vomiting usually have something else going on. Yeah. Um, then Kelly also had a lot of lethargy, and she was not um, very interested in the yeah. in the food. Yep. So those kind of things, in combination with seeing something being eaten inappropriately, suggests that she probably needs to be seen by a veterinarian right away. And for those worried at home. Callie's okay, Callie. Right? Callie did great. At first, she took a little while to kind of 
get back to herself. We were talking earlier how not having enough fluids and liquids is a bad feeling. So yeah. it took her a little while to kind of feel like herself again. Now she does not realize that she has had surgery previously. And so she's happy and active. Catherine and I are great friends, but we've decided that maybe now we're going to keep it social, social. <laughs> not yeah. professional yeah. anymore. That's so. right. You're a great person to know. Yeah. just don't want to see you on a professional basis. So exactly. Exactly. Right. Thanks for being here. Yeah, thank you very you. much. Thanks so much. Yeah, nice. And we'd like to thank, of course, Affiliated Veterinary Specialists for sponsoring this segment. For more information, you can visit their website, which is avspethospitals.com. You can also call the Jacksonville office at 904-646-1287. They also have the Orange Park location, which is 904-278-0287.